Hello everyone, my name is Rose and this is going to be the rest of the books. So this is technically part 2 of part 2, so I'm, I'm just the labor part 3 or whatever, because it's technically 3 kind of 2. But let's just get into it. So, next one I read, and this is like leaving off directly after the, the last one. So. Next one I read is this in, in Crossroad by Catherine Fisher. I like this book. It apparently has a sequel, which I actually didn't like enough to get the sequel. I kind of it was a two-person perspective. I didn't really like the the it was a boy and a girl. I didn't like the girl. Her name's Catherine or something. It starts with this Claudia. Claudia. Her name's Claudia. Claudia. I didn't like her perspective really that much, and I just was like. Every time it was hers, I just wanted to get through it as fast as possible to get back to the boy, which I think his name was Finn. Uh, there goes Finn. Yeah, Finn. But I liked it okay. This is a book that I may like get rid of eventually. But the cover's pretty. So, yep. Next book is this book, which I have had for a while. It's kind of damaged too. Got some, I spilled some bleach on it one time and that's why it's like that. But uh, I got this as a uh, Christmas present like seven years ago <laughs> I finally read it. And it's a series and I love it. It's like about this girl who's like growing up and she's like a quarter angel angel because her mom's like half angel and it's about how Angels, uh, once they turn like 16, I think it was, they start getting visions of their purpose and they need to do their purpose. And like, she's like, I think it's a trilogy if I remember, if I looked it up. And I would love to get the rest of these. And yeah, I'm super, I super love this book. <laughs> I'm kind of sad that it took me so long to read this. But yeah, if you like like supernaturally books. I would totally suggest this one. Oh, it's Unearthly by Cynthia Hand. And I have all the uh, titles and authors in the description box so you can always look down there. Next is Gilded Cage by Vic James, which is also a trilogy. I really like. I actually got this this year because I've got gotten a lot of books this year. But I got this from the Dollar Tree because Dollar Tree has been having some really interesting books lately. But I got it, and then I almost immediately read it. Like once I got it, and then after I finished the the last book, I like picked this up because I just felt like a calling to it. But like, so this is like a dystopian kind of novel, like where like there's like the royals. And then there's like, like the non-royal people, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not good with words, uh, but like the non-royals have to serve 10 years. They can choose when, when those 10 years are from like age 10 and up they can serve and they can serve at any time, but they have to be basically a servant for like 10 years. And then there's like... And then, like, the royals have magic powers while the, while, like, the other people don't. And it's, like, it's very interesting. It's a very interesting take on, like, magic and stuff. And I want to get the rest of these books. And at first, when I, like, saw this book and read Vic James, I thought Vic was a boy, but it's a girl. It's, it's Victoria, but it's, <laughs> it's a girl. <laughs> I was like, wow. I, I didn't do that right but yeah so I'm I want to get the rest of these books <laughs> now but like Dollar Tree if you have a Dollar Tree near you check out their book section because they've been getting a lot of good books lately maybe it's only mine because mine is right by like it's not that far from a half price book so maybe they get their books from half price books but I don't know next is these three I'm gonna group them together because they're part of the same series this book kind of 
ruined it, uh, kind of spoiled some things for the other two books in the series, but I don't own them at this point. I have gained, I, I found, uh, specials at the thrift store, and I'm not being it for, uh, Christmas, I think. I think my mom's wrapping all the stuff that we got at the thrift store that one day that I picked out, so I only picked out a couple things. So I am going to be getting specials, but I really liked this book. I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. I was like, this will be okay. I'm not gonna like love it, but I like, I'm gonna like it, but I love this book, these books. Um, I really like Tally, and um, yeah, I'm really excited for the other books. I'm kind of sad that I didn't find the last uh, book with extras because I feel like I'm not like extras more than specials because because this book kind of talks about all the books. But yeah, so pretty good. Oh, and this is uh, Uglies, Pretties, and Bogus 2 Bubbly by Scott Westerfield. I was like, what's his name? Okay, next is, this is Heap House, written by Edward Carey. And this book, it was interesting. It's about this boy, and he has, there's, like, his whole family has birth objects. So, like, once you were born, you get, like, an object, and he can hear the birth objects. And he lives in this house, surrounded by, like, an ocean of trash or something, and people drowned in it and like I don't really like this book if you liked uh what was that series I read earlier this year uh the series of unfortunate events I think I think you'll like this I I liked the series of unfortunate events okay it made me think I read that uh in my part one so so I have that but I actually ended up getting rid of those books because I was like I don't think I'm gonna read read them and after like after I filmed that first 25 books and then I was like really thinking about it like I think like three months later I end up like getting rid of them because I'm like they just take up too much space and I just didn't want them anymore so I'm like so yeah but if you like those then you probably like this I will be uh decluttering this book though after this video, after I fill out all the descriptions and all that, but yeah. And this is a trilogy. I did like uh, this girl, the, the second main character. This switches perspectives too. But yeah. Next, I read these four, which is a series. Like the first half of the year, I read like, I don't know how many series, but it was more series. And then this half, I read only like two actual series, but yeah. But I love these books. I think there's 11 in total. These are the only ones I have right now. So, yeah, but this is called The 39 Clues. It's like a kid's book, though, uh, like probably like middle school age. I don't know. Like, you could probably read this in like elementary school, like, like an elementary like later elementary not like it reminds me like of when I read other uh, series of June uh, back in like fourth and fifth grade I love those books but but it's not similar to these books at all <laughs> that series but um this is about um these two kids uh Amy and Dan I believe their names are I'm not good with names I forget names a lot but uh yeah, so they go on this hunt, this, uh, their grandmother dies, and then they, in the will, they're like, can either get a million dollars or go get the first clue on this hunt for, like, 39 clues, and they go across the world and go on the hunt, and it's, like, super fun, and, like, and if you like, 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 clue hunts and mysteries, but not, like, this is not, like, scary at all, this is, like, children's like mystery but like I think this is really fun and they're really quick reads like most of these books are like uh 200 pages or under like I think only one of these was like over 200 pages but like 
they're quick reads. I got through them really fast. Like, each one of these was, like, pretty fast. And I really like them. So, those are those. And these are... And... I might list these individually in the description because each one of these is actually written by a different person for some reason. I don't know what's the thing with that, but that's really interesting. I never, I don't think I know of any other series that each book is written by a different person. The first book is written by uh, Rick Gordon, which does the Percy Jackson book, so. That's really interesting. I've never heard of either of the, the other three, but they'll be, they'll be in the description box. I wonder if all 11 of them are written by completely different people or if there's any repeats. I don't know. I don't have any of those other books, so yeah. Next, I read Leviathan by Scott Westerfield again. Because <laughs> I was like, I have this book. Why not read it the same year I read read the Uglies uh, series. So, yeah. This is a, a chili. I didn't like this as much as the Ugly series. Um, but it was very interesting. This book. Like, it was like middle ground for me. It's like I didn't like love it, but I didn't like hate it. But like, I really uh, liked the, the beasties and like finding out about this like, uh, World, and it's like set in like the time of World War One, which I didn't find out until like later. Like I, I knew it was like older set, but I couldn't figure out until I actually like, googled it. And like I think this is a trilogy too. Not sure. I know it has at least one more book. Lots of books are trilogies. Um, but I would get get the uh, other books and read them. Um, yeah, I liked it okay. I liked, uh, the girl better than the boy, but, mm, and the girl is disguising as, like, a boy and to get into the army, and I find that's, like, so cool. Like, I like her personality a lot, so I forget her name. It starts with a B. Oh, it starts with D. Darren. Her name's Darren. It's not, does not start with a B. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> But yeah, Alec and Darren. And it, it, there's like a war and stuff going on in this book. Because it, it's like historical, but not historical at the same time. It's like a twist on histories and stuff. Okay, two more! Wow, this, this video is so much quicker than the last one. I think it's because of the two uh, series books. But yes, which this one next book is the Hawkweed Prophecy by I Irina Brignall. Brignall? I, I don't know. I also got this book from the Dollar Tree this year, and I was like, I really want to read this. Uh, so this is about uh, a coven of witches, and then there's a prophecy that uh, one of the one of the daughters of these two girls will um, become the queen of all witches. And so the one, the, they both have a daughter. And then the one girl, right, right when her sister becomes like, pregnant and stuff, she's like worried that her daughter won't be like uh, queen and stuff. So she like, right when it's born, she like makes them switch places with someone born at this exact same time and they and then they eventually meet in this book the the two switch people the one that's like grew up with the witches but is not a witch and the one that's actually a witch but didn't grow up in there and like it's really good there's a second book I want to read it and I was like oh my god like this is was just beautiful book and this is her first book I think I think she's a um screenwriter or, or playwright or something like that she writes like tv shows or something i think i don't know i looked i looked up this book and then they're like debut novel and and like she like has done something she's a screenwriter <laughs> this is right there 
Okay, but I really love this book. I'm so happy I picked it up. Like, the Dollar Tree has been having really good books lately, so if you have one by your house, check it out. Because, like, who can be a book for a dollar? Like, really? And the last book, which I didn't like as much as the, the other book, but this is Prophecy of the Sisters by, by Michelle Zink. Let me show you that. And this book was a pain in the butt to get through. It took me so long to get through this book. Because I was like, I'm, I was like thinking I was going to get done like almost a whole month early. But this book just took me forever to read. The, like, I started reading it a little faster after, after 150 pages. Maybe like halfway through this book. The first half of this book is basically like so slow s slow paced that like imagine you're like reading about a tea party it's like someone reaches for the fork they pick up the fork they move the fork towards the plate they stab the thing it's like that <laughs> it's like oh my god I don't like this it was just so boring and it, I felt like there was so much in this that like didn't need to be in it in the first half like it was like i feel like they could condense this by at least 50 pages if not more especially in the beginning because they had like just the weirdest stuff in there that they even like they had pa whole paragraphs where they talked about the weather and it like nothing happened <laughs> like that evolved the weather like after that little bit uh, it was just like oh my god this book i don't like it and i think i may end up getting rid of it like the last bit like the last 50 pages made me want to read the other books but i don't want to own the other books so i i could see myself maybe reading them if they were at like a library i don't think the libraries are open right now though to be honest and i have a lot of books to read in my own collection anyways so I think I'm gonna get rid of this, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna hold on to it for a couple months and really just like think about it for a little bit and see if I want to maybe get rid of this. But yeah, you can look it up if you're interested in it. I didn't really give a good synopsis or whatever. I'm not good at that. So that's all the books I've read this year, which is 50. Wow. So next year, um, my goal is to be 30, and so if you want me to do these videos again next year, I'll totally do it. it. So just leave a comment below if you want that, because I love, I love like watching these like TBR videos and stuff. So, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Hopefully you liked it. Tell me what you read this year. What what if you want to tell me your favorite book or how many books you read this year? And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>